Right now, can I have your attention, please? Can I have your attention, please, young man, three from the front? Yes, I see you. Now the moment you've all been waiting for. But before I announce the names of the teams that we're going to the final round, I would like to say how impressed I am with all of the teams. I know everyone in the gallery as well is very impressed. I've been checking with them. I don't think they got many of the answers right. So I, I want you all to give yourselves a big round of applause for taking part. And you're all winners because that was a very difficult competition. However, the two teams going into the final round are... Drum roll, please, rum on the desk. Thank you. St Mary's Drum Tochter. And Strathblean. Can I ask you, the two teams, to come down to the front row, please, so we can get on with the final round? Can I say the scores? If, if you can read them, it's in small print here, but oh, yes, there you are. Now you can check your own scores on the screen behind me. And remember, there's always another year. So what's this team? Don't talk to me. Now, I've got St Mary's there and I've got Strathblane there. Could I ask Mr Patterson if he'll... So I start the questions and I want to have an order for... I thought we'd toss a coin to see who we start with first. So I'll ask St Mary's to call heads or tails. But I'll get Mr Patterson to toss a coin first and then you can shout heads or tails. Okay. Right, Mr. Patterson. Oh, <laughs> right. He's doing. Right. What is it? Heads or tails? Heads. Heads. What is it, Mr. What is it? No, you checking. Right. Do you want to go first or second, St. Mary's? First. First. Right. So the first question is. The fort. What am I reading out first? Right, oh yes, I knew I'd get it wrong again, but you it's keeping me right. The first ten questions alternate between the two teams, so we're going to start with St Mary's. If a team answers correctly, they win the point. If a team answers incorrectly, the question will be passed to Strath Blaine for a possible bonus point. This will be followed by ten buzzer questions. You're not a quiz if you don't have a buzzer. I will monitor the amount of time allowed to the answers to ensure fairness. Cooling Lurt will keep the scores. Please choose a speaker for your team who is going to give the answer. Is that you? Have you been, oh yeah, you didn't have much option, did you? Pointed at you. If I call you to speak, please use the microphone. It will help everyone to hear your answer properly. I take it the microphones are going on automatically. They are. Now, are both teams ready? Right, we're at the start. Now I begin. First question, St Mary's. The forint is the currency of which EU member state? Hungary. Correct. St Blaine, the loo is the currency of which EU member state? Romania. Correct. St Mary's, who is the current president of the European Commission? Jean-Claude Juncker. Thank you. Strath Blaine, who is the current president of the European Council? Donald Tusk. Correct. St Mary's, tennis player Novak Djokovic is from which European country? Serbia. Strath Blaine, tennis player Stan Varinka is from which European country? Czech Republic. No, I pass that over to St Mary's. Switzerland. Correct. And back to St Mary's. Mercia is a region of which EU member state? Spain. 
Spain. Correct. Strathblane. Algarve is a region of which EU member state? Portugal. Correct. St Mary's. Which ancient civilization did mathematician Pythagoras come from? Greek. Correct. Strathblane. Cicero and Virgil were writers from which ancient civilization? Rome. Correct. St Mary's. What is the capital of Lithuania? Vilnius. Correct. Strathblane. Oh, this is the... Oh, forgot about the buzzers. How could I forget the buzzers? Right, so... Are we onto the buzzers right now? From now on, it's buzzer time. Have they all got a buzzer? Or is there just one buzzer? Let's check the buzzers. We're going to check them. Buzz your buzz just now. <laughs> what about yours? That was a bit slow. How was I on a second go? Oh, oh, that's great. Now, that's an end of playing with them. OK, here we go. Fingers at the ready. Lausanne and Bern... Oh. Hold on. Are we Yes, there was an uneven number of questions here because we stopped at 11. I noticed that, but somebody else made a mistake this time. This wasn't me, this was somebody else, which makes a change. So, can we have a question for... This is not on the buzzers. This is your question, Strathblane. Ready? What is the capital of Albania? Tirana. Correct. Now, now we move on to the buzzers. So... Each question will be asked to both teams at the same time and will be answered by the first team to buzz. A correct answer wins the point. If you answer incorrectly, the question will be passed to the other team for a possible bonus point. Once the buzzer is pressed, you must answer the question immediately. There's no conferring with your teammates once the buzzer has been pressed. So if you want to confer, you must do so before you press the buzzer. If the answer is incorrect, as I've said, it will pass to the other team who may confer. Is that clear? So if you buzz, you've got to answer right away, no conferring. If you get it wrong, it passes to the other team who can confer before the answer. Is that clear? So now we go on to question 12. Lausanne and Bern are citizens in which country? St Mary's. Switzerland. Correct. The Garonne River runs, flows through France and which other European country? Spain. Correct. In which European capital is the Brandenburg Gate situated? Berlin. Correct. Name the mountain range which forms a natural border between Poland and Slovakia. The Tatra Mountains. The Tatra Mountains. It is. Correct. Name the official European language spoken in Peru. French? No. I pass it over to Sir Plain and you can confer. Portuguese? No. The answer is Spanish. Next question. What is the capital city of Bosnia and Herzegovina? Sarajevo. It is. Correct. Levi, Levi Strauss, founder of Levi's Jeans, was from which European country? No, pass it to St Mary's. Switzerland? No, the answer is Germany. Which city is half in Europe and half in Asia? Istanbul. Correct. Guadeloupe is a group of Caribbean islands. Um, from France? Correct. Well, it...
Have you been watching the quizzes on television, young man, you know? I feel like Jeremy Paxman here. And that ends the round. Uh, well, it was very exciting. It was a very exciting round. And can I ask you all to remain in your seats while we verify the scores? Actually, give them a round of applause. That was some, <laughs> some goal. We will now present the prizes to the top three teams. It gives me great pleasure to invite John Mulgrew, OBE Chair, Scottish European Educational Trust, Gil Patterson, MSP, to join me to present the medals and trophy. And I'll join you in a minute, gentlemen, because I just want to read out who we have. In third place, I'll get the word right, we have Gullen. Well done. <laughs> Please come, please come down to the front to collect your medals and prizes, Gullen. Well done. In, uh, in second place is Strathblane, drum talker. You did really well, Strathblane, came close. Winner is St Mary's Drum Talker. Well, well done.
I've just been told that one four times, when do you get to keep the cup? Have you got to win it five times? <laughs> Well, this has been a truly and remarkable, most enjoyable afternoon. I hope everybody enjoyed it as much as me. Uh, I'm sure you did in the gallery, and I'm serious. I think we should engage you in it next time round. Just let's see how hard it is for all the pupils here. Could I ask in the gallery again, you have a round of applause to all these youngsters who've taken part. Don't be disheartened if you didn't win or become runner-up. You really all did extremely well. And I don't think any of the people like me here could have got half the way you got in this quiz. Anyway, am I now asking John Mulgrew to come to the lecture to give a vote of thanks? Thank you. I mean, I think I am right that um, this is the fourth time that St Mary's and Talker have won this competition. So that's really, really good. And it's so good as well that helping us today was Gil Patterson, who's one of your MSPs. So it's all coming together nicely for St. Mary's in Den Talker. It was in St. Mary's Den Talker that um, we had an interview with a previous winning team. And a member of the winning team said that what happened in his household on Christmas Day was that after they'd had their Christmas lunch, they cleared the table and the whole family had a Euro quiz. So um, there's a tradition there that you've, you've got to keep going. It's really been great again, uh, everybody, to see you here in support of the um, Euro quiz. And we do need a lot of support, I must say that, that um, we keep going, we keep going in a hope and a prayer. And indeed, if there's anybody in the public gallery who has got any links with business or would like to sponsor part of what we're doing, then just have a word with either Madeline, Jane, or myself. We have to keep going, we want to keep going, but we need money to do that. Do you know that this year there were four, over 470 schools, just think of that, right across Scotland, um, participating? And that involved over 2,000 pupils. So that's why all of you here are so successful, because you've emerged from those 2,000. And for our winners, number two and number three, I think it's a really, really splendid achievement. So congratulations to you all. Congratulations to all the pupils who have participated. And thank you to Bridge of Weir Leather Company, 
Clyde Blowers and Tannocks, who have supported, sponsored local heats. We're very grateful to the Office of the European Commission for looking after us here. And long may that last, but you just don't know. And of course, they were responsible for nominating Cooley as our link person today. I'm sure you thought she did very well. Well done, Cool. And I want to thank Gil for his support in many ways over the years. Uh, and I want in particular to thank Christine, who it's not an easy job just to come in and uh, go through all these questions and make sure everything's right and running to time. But I think she did very, very well. Thank you. Well done, Christine. Finally, let me mention Education Scotland, SILT, which is the National Centre um, for Languages in Scotland, the students from Harriet Watt, who recorded for us, the local heat organisers, colleagues in local authorities, 31 of them, working to organise the local heats, and the team here in Parliament, the broadcasting team, and those who have organized it with us today. I want to say thank you to everybody, and once again to St. Mary's, very well done. Uh, can I thank you, John and Cooley, for speaking today, and thank you to John and to Gil Patterson for assisting with the prize giving, and my thanks and congratulations to all of you for taking part. And I hope you enjoyed, even if you didn't win, I hope you enjoyed your quiz experience and your visit to the Parliament. Now, could I ask you all, uh, the competitors, to join me in the steps of the garden lobby for a photograph? Bring your mascots with you. They, they're part of the team too. If you can make your way to the back of the chamber when we're ready to stop and the events assistance will take you down to the garden lobby. Please take all your belongings with you as they will be taken away and burned if you don't. Now, I made that bit up. I made that bit up. But maybe they do. I don't know. Because they're burnt. Um, anyway, you're not returning to the chamber. Certificates and goodie bags will be handed out to all of you as you leave the building. So if you make your way to the back now and go down to the garden lobby, take everything with you. And thank you very much. <laughs>